Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Early Learning Psychology Team presentation. My name is Dr. Wen Sloan, and I am a registered psychologist with Edmonton Catholic Schools. Along together with my colleagues from the psychology team, we put together a series of five presentations for parents about connecting with your children through play. Our hope is that after watching the presentation, you feel better supported to strengthen your relationship with your children through play during this change and uncertainty. Among the five presentations, the first two are about what is play. The next two are on how to play with your child. And the last one is on how to set up different play activities. On this presentation, we'll go over what is play and social play skills development. So what is play? Play is the universal language of childhood and it can happen anytime, anywhere. Play is fun, enjoyable and creative. Play is meaningful to your child. Play is shaped by your child's interests. Play also allows your child to express themselves. Play is soothing and comforting. For many adults, play can appear to be without purpose, but it really is the key to learning as the children are actively engaged, intrinsically motivated, and often comfortable in the world of play. Research has shown that children are able to learn new information efficiently, make connections, and experience aha moments through play. What does play look like at different ages? It is important to keep in mind that children develop at their own pace. And these developmental milestones give a general idea of the expectation as the child gets older. From birth to two years old, it is the stage for solitary play, which means children typically play by themselves with their own toys. They often do not interact with other children. Solitary play is important because it builds skills for working independently. From two to two and a half years old, it is the stage for onlooker play. Although this type of play first emerges this age, but it can also happen at any age. At this stage, children typically watch other children playing and maybe even ask questions but they have no attempt to join in. Sometimes this may happen when a child is shy, unsure of the rules, or is hesitate to join the game. From two and a half to three and a half years old, it is the stage for parallel play. Children continue to play on their own, but they are beside other children and maybe using the same toys at this stage, they think that everything is mine, so it is difficult for them to share. From three to four and a half years old, it is the stage for associative play. Children begin to truly play with others. They share play materials, but may be following their own storyline. At this stage, the children start to understand that some things belong to them and some things belong to others. From four to five and a half years old, it is the stage for cooperative play. Children often play in groups and everyone is cooperating to achieve a common goal. This type of play involves negotiation among children. This happens when children change roles in the play 
and take turns making suggestions about the plot. At this stage, the children are able to lend a toy to others because they understand that they can get it back. This is the beginning stage of sharing. Keep in mind that it is okay to set boundary about special toys. So they're only for the children and not for sharing. From six years old and up, it is the stage for games with rules. It is a part of cooperative play. These games involve child-controlled rules and winners and losers. The children show an understanding of the social rules at this stage. It is important to note that children may show regressions when they're sick, tired, hungry, and irritable. Thank you for following along this presentation. If you're interested in learning more about today's topic, here are some more resources about family play. Thank you for joining us today and stay tuned for more of our presentations.